good morning. And if you're looking to wine, we got the place for you this weekend. <laughs> How are you doing, Keith? Very this well, is Keith, jo Keith Manning from Keith Joshua. Mm -hmm. And this is great. You guys have the seventh annual Southeast Arizona Wine Growing Festival. That's yep. a mouthful. Yeah. But I'll tell you right now, after you know having 18 different wines, you're probably going to be like, where are we? So We actually have 18 different wineries. Oh, wow. Uh, we'll probably have over 100 different wines available for tastings. Um, we'll have 18 wineries from all over the state, um, from up north, from Wilcox, from Sonoida, um, all pouring um, their own wines, all locally grown Arizona fruit. I love it. And I know we talk about the beer here and how we become mm -hmm. this big beer kind of state and everything, but we've always been a wine mm -hmm. country, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Um, actually, Ari Southern Arizona was the uh, second place in the country to ever be planted with European wine grapes, dating back to the Spanish missionaries. Nice. And you guys actually, kind of interesting with you, you are like a wine connoisseur. I thought you were just like a guy who just started <laughs> like a little wine. But you were 15 years old when you got into I, it. I started working in a wine shop when I was 15 and kind of fell into it. Uh, I took a year studying viticulture and knowledge at UC Davis. I got my undergrad from Monash in Australia and my master's from the University of Melbourne. I love it. All right, this mm -hmm. event is two days, right? It's Saturday and Sunday, the second and third, coming up this weekend. Uh, like you said, seventh annual. We do it every spring. We'll have 18 wineries from all across the state, four bands, four food trucks and um, two dozen other vendors selling everything from beef jerky to jewelry. I love it. Let's talk about your winery because okay. this is very interesting because you actually said you studied over in Australia, Australia. Mm -hmm. and that's where I like those Australian kind of because they have the Sauvignon Blanc and all mm -hmm. that kind of, but you're mostly reds, right? We do about 65% red, 35% white, pretty much mostly on the dry end. We usually make one dessert wine, that's it. Nice. What'd you bring us today? What do we got? Um, we got a Riesling, if you'd like to give it a try. Let's do that. This is a dry Riesling. It's I one year it. in stainless steel. It's going to be kind of a crisp, citrusy white. And like I said, dry. So it's not going to be sweet like most people expect from a Riesling. And so when going to this, you're not looking to like, you know, down. You're looking really to taste and find mm -hmm. the wines you like. So, yeah. and, and okay, I just, what'd you just do there? Your little smell? What yeah, am I generally, for? generally um, well, you're smelling for the bouquet. They, there should be a gradation of flavor. Generally, they say the five S's. It's sight, uh -huh. swirl, sniff, sip, savor. And then you're looking at how it changes as it crosses your palate. So you're looking at every little nuance of the wine. All right, let me have a little, just, and then take a taste. Go for it. Oh. Oh yeah, go ahead and fill that up in there. <laughs> uh, again, uh, we have information on azdailymix.com, but it's the seventh annual Southeast Arizona's Big Wine Vineyards uh, Festival. And again, it's gonna be great Saturday and Sunday to enjoy wine, so.